p will be equal to k q upon what is the distance b p square. So, this can be represented E b is equal to k q. What is b p square students just check it this is my x and this is my a. So, it will be x minus a. So, x minus a the whole square. Now, what is the direction just check it out this is E b. So, I have told whenever you have a plus q charge the direction will be away from the point. So, at this particular point if you just see the direction of the electric field will be in this way. So, I should show it because I am finding at point p. So, I should show the direction from the point p it will be equal to E b. So, what is the direction of the E b students? It is moving towards the x axis. So, what I can write? It is equal to along the direction is along x axis. So, now we have done it the electric field at due to the minus q charge and then a plus q charge. Now, let us we want to find an as a system for the dipole we want to find. So, we will just add up. So, but adding when we will add it just if you see this particular portion the direction of E a is this and direction of E b is this and definitely depends upon the force. I will just give you an example suppose you have a phi newton is applied at this particular direction and say a 3 newtons of force is being applied at this direction. So, what will be the net force and which direction it will be? So, definitely it will be at this direction which is will be equal to phi minus 3 which is equal to 2 newtons. So, now let us see that out of this E a and E b which is greater that we will take it and the subtract the other one. So, now tell me whether E a is greater or E b is greater. Just, just see the expression k q numerator there also the numerator is k q denominator here it is a plus x the whole square here it is of course one more thing to be a, a similar thing the similar pattern of course I can write a plus x also it will be better for understanding I will write x plus a the whole square. So, just see here in the new denominator it is x plus a the whole square whereas here it is x minus a the whole square. So, this is a denominator is greater here it means that this value is going to be less and this value is going to be a greater value. So, what is the electric field net electric field due to dipole this will be equal to E b minus E a and tell me what is the direction it will be in the direction of E b. What is the direction of E b? Along x axis. So, it will be along x axis. So, now we will substitute and we will solve it further. So, this will be equal to E is equal to what is E b? K q is common. So, I can just write directly a simple mathematical derivation we have to do and we will just get the last expression. So, let us solve it further E is equal to k q this will be x minus a the whole square into x plus a the whole square this will be equal to in the numerator we have just expand a simple a plus b the whole square formula will apply this is x square plus a square plus 2 x a minus x square minus a square plus 2 x a if you just open the bracket with minus sign you will have like this divided by here we can write a plus b into a minus b formula we can write this is equal to a square minus b square. So, here it will be x square minus a square and this is a square. So, it will be x square minus a square the whole square. Now, let us see what all terms are getting cancelled. So, we have e is equal to k q 4 
x a upon x square minus a square. Now, I want to write this expression in along what is the direction? It is along the x axis. So, always you have to specify the direction also because the electric field is a vector quantity along x axis. Now, we will just further solve this. Now, what is dipole? We have calculated it is nothing but a distance 2 a into q. So, just we will write this 2 a into q in place of that we will just write a dipole E is equal to, we will just arrange it. I can write 2 k 2 a q x is also there upon x square minus a square. I have just split this 4 into 2 2. So, this 2 k because I want to write this 2 a q as p. So, we will just rewrite this. So, we will get E is equal to 2 k 2 a q x upon x square minus a square the whole square. Why we are writing? Because we want in terms of a dipole movement. So, E is equal to 2 k dipole movement x upon x square minus a square the whole square. Now, we will just take, so this is a final expression and it was along which direction? The net resultant will along x axis. So, very it is very important to specify the direction because E is a vector quantity. So, this will give you the a magnitude of the electric field and this will be the direction. So, now let us see some special case. Usually, the dipole which we consider they are very small. So, let us see that if the dipole is very small, what happens to this final expression. So, special case. Normally, practically when we take these dipoles are very small. So, what do you mean by dipole is very small means the distance between the two charges they are taken as very small that is this 2 a is very small. So, from the center if I take the a will be further small. So, I can just say a is very less as compared to x in other words I can say x is very large as compared to a. So, when x is very large as compared to a we can neglect this a. So, just by neglecting this a square term from this it will be equal to e is equal to 2 k p x upon if I just neglect what is left x square by upon uh, sorry x square raised to 2. So, it will become x raised to 4. So, this x will get cancelled and my final expression will be that is an electric field due to a dipole which is very small will be equal to 2 k p upon x q. Of course, along x axis. So, always it is if you observe this how I have taken this is minus q and this is plus q and the resultant electric field due to this dipole was in this direction. So, it means that the direction of the, this point to be noted, the direction of the electric field is always from minus charge to plus charge. So, we will just recall what we have done it today. Electric field due to this dipole on an axial line that is if we consider an any point on the axis of the dipole, how we can find out the electric field. So, ultimately we got an expression has 2 k p x upon where x is a distance from the center to that point where we can find. So, x we can normally because since x is a variable the distance is a variable you can take any point on the axis. So, we can assume x or normally we can take instead of x we can even write r. So, the final expression in terms of r if you want otherwise we can write uh, x also. So, it is E is equal to 2 k p upon r cube. So, today 
we will just summarize what we have done it. We have started with the electric field. What is electric field? Yes, anyone can say. Electric field is nothing but it is a space around a source charge where the test charge can experience an a repulsive force. And here we while explaining we have taken a source charge as positive and the test charge also as a positive. So, we call it it is a repulsive force. And then we have seen that how to find an magnitude of the electric field. So, the definition of an electric field it is nothing but it is equal to the force per unit charge that is F by Q. So, just I will rub here and just will recall what we have done it today. We have studied what is electric field. It is nothing but it is a space around a source charge where the test charge can experience a repulsive force. Then secondly, we have seen its magnitude E is equal to F by Q and we have substituted the value of F as what was the F? Here we will take a Coulombic repulsive force that was equal to F is equal to K capital Q upon the distance between the source charge and the test charge. So, if you substitute what we got it K So, it is E is equal to K Q by R square and direction was along the x axis because we are taking as a positive. So, for positive what I said the direction will be in this way, it will be in this way. So, I am just we assume this it will be along the x axis. Then we have seen what is dipole instead of saying dipole we should use a better word is electric dipole because we have a magnetic dipole also which will be dealing in the magnetism chapter. So, we should call it as an electric dipole which is represented by P which is equal to and what is dipole electric dipole? It is a distance between suppose you have a two charges. So, two equal and opposite charges separated by a fixed distance A to A forms a dipole system and its magnitude is called as a dipole moment which is represented as P which is equal to the product of the either charge and the distance between the two charges. Then we have seen today what was the due to the electric dipole there will be a magnetic field around it. So, today we have seen if we considered at any point on the axis of the dipole what was the electric field on the axis which we have as we got it as E of axis that is electric field due to a dipole in an axial line that is along the axis it is equal to K Q P by X cube. This was the final result just by assuming that the dipole is very small we have neglected that A value and finally, we got this expression. So, the final expression for the electric field due to a dipole on an axis when the dipole is very small that is E is equal to K 2 K P by X cube. So, thank you students tomorrow we will be starting with the continuation of uh, this particular topic that is we do for the equatorial line. Thank you. Thank you.